Hey beautiful people, it's your boy Joshua Martin and welcome to another episode of Raw. Today we're going to be focusing on aesthetics and I'm going to be tackling the question whether or not your image needs to be sharpened every time you export it. So let's dive right in. Alright, so here in Miami there's this uh, on Miami Beach, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I call it the Miami Strip and there's a section near the movie theater and he has these cool crazy lights. Well, not crazy, but the repetition I really like, and it has this cold uh, concrete, concrete slabs all around, and then the lights are kind of hanging down and stuff, and then there's two stores next to it, so those reflections of the lights make it um, more repetitive. So I really like that, and I was trying to find somebody who can, who can fit that type of urban, industrial, cold look but still has some street vibe to it. And so this young woman had that. And hey, I was like, hey, can I, can I take your image? Now she was, a kind of, she was kind of hesitant at first, but eventually we got some, we got some good stuff out, out of it. I shot this with the 5D Mark III with the 70 to 200. Um, and I was about an F4, because I don't want to go too far out, but I wanted enough bokeh in the background where it kind of loses it. Um, to, 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 to almost give like a, a cinematic feel you know, based on my angle and my exposure, I kind of achieved that. I liked how the light was kind of wrapping around her cheek here and then giving her more shape here as well. So it was it was nice, soft light, but still kind of hard at the same time. So when I got into the editing, that's what we're going to really be getting into, get into today. Uh, I wanted the feeling to be a little bit more cooler, a little more grittier. And I can see I brought down my um, my highlights a little bit more, so it was a little bit more muted. I brought in some purple, some blues, and I brought up the exposure just a tad. So let's let's actually go into develop a module. But as you can see from my settings over this side, I brought up some of the shadows. I just crushed the whites because I really wanted that matte look, and that will actually play into what I did later on down the road, down the way. I brought down some of the saturation. Now really, this toning comes from my curve. And so I normally have like a, a quick preset of curves and I go through and tweak it. This is from an old pack. I've had this for like a couple of years now. I actually see, oh yeah, it's a Visco, Visco pack. And so once I got my curves where I wanted it, I started messing around my blues and things like that and introducing some purples as well. And so you keep going down and the grain section under effects. So reason why we're gonna be talking about sharpening, whether or not to sharpen, I feel like a lot of times, when, well, when I was actually starting out, I sharpened almost every single image that I started to edit. And uh, later on, later on I realized that sharpening is a, is a personal preference. Your aesthetic, your aesthetic is going to communicate whatever you're trying to communicate. And so based on your editing, you're speaking a certain language. So I ran into different issues where, let's say I was shooting, uh, uh, one, of my, one of my older images I was shooting. Um, actually, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So this is gonna be kind of funny, but uh, this is an older image way back in college when I took this. I try to sharpen it. It's actually kind of hilarious now that I think about it, but why sharpen something that's intentionally blurred and, and out of focus? So when I was editing this, it dawned on me, why am I trying to sharpen this? And it finally clicked that, you know, sharpening is very um, uh, subjective. It's like if your image, if you're trying to go for a, in this case, an out of focus image, there's no point in sharpening because sharpening you want you want the loss of detail. Sharpening helps add detail. Grain is another way to add another layer of texture. And for me to feel to for one, like I was saying, I want to achieve a cinematic look, still have the urban street vibe, that feel, and have some type of grid, some type of texture. So sharpening wouldn't accomplish that for me but the grain would. The grain is all in the texture of the ceiling now. And then I could also play with, you know, the roundness and the size of the grain. Now, I don't want to be too much because it's going to look like this digital noise and it's going to be collapsing. 
but I was really I was really impressed with the with the way the grain was being translated in Lightroom versus Photoshop for this image. So let me just kind of clear this up. <laughs> um, remember that everything that you're doing in your editing, based on your aesthetic, you have you're having some type of conversation. So there's not always a right way of editing. There's the way that you need to edit based on what you're trying to communicate. The feeling, the emotion, all those come into play which help guide you how you edit. Sure, if you're doing something like event work, there might be a certain batch process that you have to do. When it comes to like your own photography, each image is gonna have its own personality and you have to cater to that personality of the image. So your editing will swing whatever way that will go. So I hope that helps. Remember to keep shooting, keep editing, keep putting yourself out there and uh, share with me some of your images. I would love to see it. Please comment below if you have any questions. Um, yeah, all right y'all, deuces.